In lieu of a proper GDC talk, Sony held a live stream that featured PS5 lead architect Mark Cerny breaking down the technical specifications of the new console, from SSDs to backwards compatibility. Here's what you need to know from Cerny's talk. First, load times. Cerny began his talk with the PS5's solid-state drive, which has a base transfer speed of 5 gigs a second. That means games will load an impressive 100 times faster on PS5 than PS4. Sony wants to say goodbye to loading screens. Let's talk about the size of that SSD. The PS5 will ship with an 825GB drive, which is an unusual size. Sony arrived at this number by collecting data on the top 100 most played PS4 games. Cerny believes that 825 gigs is enough for players, as installing and uninstalling games is intended to be a much easier process with the new console generation. But if that's not enough for you, you will be able to add more storage to the PS5. However, only certain SSDs will be compatible. You'll need to make sure you're using M2 drives with PCIe 4.0 support, otherwise they won't work. And don't worry, Sony will specify which drives you need to use. Let's talk graphics. The PS5 uses a custom AMD RDNA 2 GPU. Sony didn't just slap an existing graphics card onto the console. This partnership with AMD could lead to some technical findings for the next commercially available AMD card. So when you play your PS5 later this year, you'll be doing so on cutting edge technology. As for the games you'll be playing, Sony aims to make the 100 most popular PS4 games backwards compatible at launch, and more will be vetted on a case-by-case -case basis. Sony and AMD are taking backwards compatibility very seriously with the PS5, so while not every single PS4 game will run out of the box, it is a key feature moving forward. Expect your PS5 to run pretty quiet while playing those games, too. I know from personal experience that a PS4 can sound like a jet engine leaving the runway, and Cerny acknowledged these large fluctuations in fan speeds as the console heats up. The PS5 is designed to consume the same amount of power at all times, preventing fans from spinning up and causing a racket. Speaking of sound, the PS5 will also deliver enhanced 3D audio. Cerny claims that Sony's proprietary Tempest 3D audio tech can simulate hundreds of sound sources. Think about what ray tracing does for light, causing it to naturally bounce around objects, but for sound. The idea is that if you hear a sound while playing a game, you should be able to identify exactly where it came from. We learned a lot from Cerny's PS5 presentation, but there's still so much we don't know. What does the PS5 actually look like? How much will it cost? It's coming this holiday season, but when? Stay tuned to GameSpot as we chase down the answers.